wherever we go, I will definitely make sure that it's relatively safe. <laughs> <laughs> relatively safe. <laughs> I appreciate that. I take whatever I can get. Uh Special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Welcome back, travel buddies In case you're new here, we are Roger and Yesenia Young empty nesters traveling the world In this new season of our lives We're so excited to travel more Expand our minds And discover the world and ourselves All at the same time So follow along as we travel the world And document our journey Hey guys, hey. back with another episode. My yes. name is Roger. And I'm Yesenia. And we're super excited this episode because we actually got um, winners to the votes that we did as far as what country should we start our journey at. Yes. And the winner, or uh, the country with the most votes at 83% was Thailand. Yes. Super excited about Thailand because we already did a lot of research about it. We of, did. Of directions we should go in Thailand. Yeah, we were sort of leaning towards we were sort of leaning towards there, so thanks, guys. Yep, and, <laughs> and the and the city actually in Thailand that we're going to start off with is Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. It's northern uh, northern Thailand in the mountainous area. A lot of culture, a lot of museums, um, tons of of different uh, monuments just out there. Yeah, they're known for their beautiful ancient temples and ruins. That's what they're most known for. But so a lot of culture. But it's just beautiful out there. So. And, and super cheap, so we're excited. It's funny, I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> excited to get, excited to start out there for it, that reason also. It is crazy cheap. Right now, we are pretty much trying to set the budget of what that looks like for us. Yes, and the boring part. <laughs> which is the part that I know we take care of. That's right. <laughs> Did a lot of research, a lot of couple, pretty much on Google stated that it cost them between 17K and 25K for a couple for the entire year. Mm -hmm. um, just based on our habits, and we're pretty much new to this, we decided to go ahead and up our budget yeah. up to 35K, which is about- a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah, it's about $50 per person per day. Mm -hmm. So now that we have the budget, next step is plane tickets. Mm -hmm. Average plane ticket from LAX to Chiang Mai is about $400 per person. That's a one-way ticket. So another really big part of our research is uh, checking out the like the top 10 things to do in the area. We yep. sort of try to get a lay of the land and um, so we're looking up um, touristy things and things that we, we know that we'll want to get into based on our interest. Like for Roger, he's mostly into art galleries, museums, things like that. Okay. For me, I am the food person, so I, I I'm like the self-designated uh, food person, so I'm looking up restaurants in the area and we're vegan. Uh, so I'm looking up uh, vegan friendly, plant based uh, friendly restaurants that are in the area. Happy Cow, that's our, that's Happy our friend. Happy Cow and Google. And so I'm just pinging them to make sure that we know what's where and what's close to the air, the places that we know we want to visit and what's close to where we're staying. Um, but it's real quick to touch back on Happy Cow. It's a legitimate app, it's a it real is. app. It's and coming, it's so handy. <laughs> like it's saved us in so many places where we're not sure what's around where Google's not working for us yes. and then Happy Cow is working and so we're able to see again what vegan or vegan vegetarian or vegan friendly so it's been a lifesaver in so many different places. And Happy Cow works in every country. Yes. Now we've tried in the last 15 countries we visited never had an issue with it and the prices and menu is on the app so we'll leave the link below at the end so you can take your time use it um, figure it out I've never been disappointed using that app. Yeah. Another really big thing for me is checking out local markets and bazaars yes. and shops like that. I love souvenirs. I love being able to, to explore the local culture and yeah. get a sense of, of what's important to them or what the country or city that we're in is most known for. As long as it's safe. I want to make sure as long as it's safe. <laughs> I, it's like right exactly that's in, that's important that's key but wherever we go I will definitely make sure that it's relatively safe <laughs> relatively safe <laughs> I appreciate that I take whatever I can get uh, anything for that sweet scarf or herbs or local I, I just that's just it'll be safe so the websites we'll be using um, to do all of our travels as far as booking hotels we'll be either using Expedia or we'll be using Agoda Looking up Agoda, average price for either a hotel or a hostel, et cetera, is around anywhere between $5 and $15 per night. Yeah. Loving Southeast Asia already. Right. <laughs> yes. 
So now it's about how many days we will actually want to spend in that particular city. Mm -hmm. A few other honorable mentions. While we're in Thailand, of course, we do want to hit up places like Bangkok. We yes. can't go to Thailand without hitting up Bangkok. Looking for that adventure. Right, right. <laughs> also, definitely Phuket is on the list. Um, and a couple of other places that um, we're interested in based on the things that we know we want to see uh, before we head out of Thailand and venture off to other neighboring countries. In addition to using um, search engines like uh, Google, Yahoo, going on YouTube, looking up different videos, there's a lot of influencers out there that um, have a, a ton of YouTube videos that kind of kind of like paved the way. So it's pretty much how can we take that, put our spin on it, and take it to a whole nother level. And that's going to be the focus of our, I guess, the next 12 months of our life. Yeah. Um, we still haven't solidified a date yet. The reason right. why? Because you know we're still going through COVID right now. We want to ensure that when we're able to leave, safety can... is key. Absolutely, yes. we want to make sure that when we're traveling, it's safe to travel. That we're we're doing it responsibly. Yep, and we want to ensure that we hit the ground running. Yeah. So, what does that look like for us? You know, Shanghai, Shanghai, so, so <laughs> Chiang Mai. Um, look, this is all new for me. You're right. I'm learning as I go. So Chiang Mai is one of those countries that, one of those cities that we looked at that we got really excited about just because it's almost like an old world Asia, old world Thailand. Yeah. So we're super excited and we haven't found any videos yet on YouTube of anybody who's doing the way that we're doing it that we can like piggyback off of or kind of like know what direction to go. So this will be completely new and as always, we're going to be soliciting your input to kind of help guide us through this direction. Yeah. Um, and again, this the whole purpose of this is so you guys can do the same exact thing also. Mm -hmm. You know, you said you spoke about on the last episode about going to massages and not always going to hostels. Right. So we kind of factored that in there. You know, we there are 197 countries in the world. 30 of those countries make $21,000 or more on average salary. And that means there are 167 countries that the average salary is $21,000 or less, which means a budget of 35000 is more than reasonable more than to, <laughs> to visit right. all these locations. There's definitely a lot of wiggle room for us to play around and yes. do some of the things that we like to do. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, in addition to, you know, as we're looking and we're doing our research as far as traveling and, you know, how crazy it will be, we also know that certain times of the year is when most folks go on summer vacations. Right. And those are the places like they go to like Rome, they go to London, um, all the touristy spots. We know that we're going to avoid those spots during those times of the year and stay in the mo more remote areas. Um, such yeah, that's, as the, that's the plan. I think it's, it's going to be about kind of finding a, a mix of the both so we'll yeah. do some of the quote-unquote a lot of the quote-unquote touristy things um, but again we'll also try and find uh, some some more hidden gems off the beaten paths yeah, not, too to kind of, <laughs> not too far off <laughs> not too far off not too far off the beaten path but just to, again to kind of try to get a sense of local culture the vibe and you know yeah or, or, or places that have mixes of uh, tourists and locals so we there's there's kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a balance there like this one spot we looked up in Vietnam they have like a tree house type hostel where it comes with breakfast and it's beautiful you know if I can either at the end of this video or the next video we'll add an image of it so you can take a look at it for yourself it's so cool it's yeah. so family oriented like it's a small spot that the, the family owns and they and they're just really warm and friendly and they try to make it really fun yes a fun experience I think they only host one family at a time. Uh, so definitely looking forward to checking that place out. Yeah. So visiting all these countries, the goal is that for those countries off the being path that I know Yusenia wants us to go to, <laughs> um, we're going to try to get a fixer. Now a fixer is almost like a tour guide, yeah. but they're more responsible as far as ensuring our safety when it comes to the political environments. Right. Um, pretty much what's happening in those countries, those cities at that particular time. In addition to guiding us and kind of telling us more about the history and everything around. Um, sure. Sometimes fixers are responsible for helping us um, pretty much find transportation place to stay yeah um, it's more about um, making sure that we're safe yes um, little known facts and things that that would be helpful for somebody who is not from the area so yeah. a, a, a little less a more in-depth version of a tour guide you know less 
and here's this place and here's that yeah. place and more you don't want to go over here this is how much this costs just to really make sure that we don't get run <laughs> run <laughs> right exactly make sure we don't get bamboozled you know yeah we don't get you know taken advantage of when we're out in un unfamiliar places yep I mean, again, there's 197 countries and we want to hit as many countries as possible. Of course, we have a goal in the beginning, but it doesn't end there. You know, we're still, even though we're empty nested, we're still pretty young and we really want to live life to the fullest. Absolutely. In the description below, we're also going to have our a PDF for Excel, pretty much showing our entire budget, what it's going to look like. Um, hopefully, again, we can stay within that 35K. That's the goal. Uh, or yeah. less, you know, preferably 20, 25. Yeah. It'll be just pretty much a rundown of what we talked about here. The goal is to get the first three months, first 90 days worth of travel in the itinerary before we actually start booking flights, booking um, places to stay, and booking transportation. Yeah, and what's big for us is spontaneity, so we want to plan as much as possible, but also leave wiggle room because this guy over here likes to do things like, you know what? <laughs> I think I want to fly to XYZ country and I'm like, uh, look, okay. We have look at the ticket prices and they're cheap. Look, we have, <laughs> we have a budget now, so it's right. a little bit different. Right, right. So um, we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll have a layout, we'll have a plan, we'll have a budget, we'll have an itinerary, but we'll also leave room again for, for fun, fun little off-the-cuff trips. Nice. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, don't forget. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Faraja and Yesenia. And we'll see you in the next video. I'm a hiatus. I'm a hiatus. Uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be.